at the Whisper Men? Whisper Men are near If you hear the Whisper Men, then turn away your ear. Do not hear the Whisper Men, whatever else you do. For once you hear the Whisper Men, they'll stop and look at you. The trap is set for the doctor's friends. They will travel where the doctor ends. This man must fall, whereas all men must. Fate of all is always dust. His friends are lost forevermore, unless he goes to Trenzen. The girl who died, he tried to save. She'll die again inside his grave. It started like a normal day. Well, as normal a day as you could have living in Victorian London with a Silurian and a Sontaran, Mom had visited a contact about the Doctor. But, as we had no means of time travel at present, Mom suggested we open up a dream state. So, after sending everything out to the relevant people, I set up the parlour for the ceremony. Myself and Mom had used the candles before, on missions when we were separated, and sometimes just for a jolly. She liked to show me her world, and the dream candles are how we saw it all together. I placed the candles in the centre of the table, and Madame Vastra struck a match and lit it. Inhaling the fumes, we all drifted off to sleep. But I never locked the door. You never forget it, you know. That moment when you're taken, ripped from this world, whispering surrounding me, then I felt it. Sat in that dream state, the brush of material on my cheek. Then a sharp pain radiating through me. A warmth, but not one of comfort. But it's amazing how out of control your mind gets when you sleep. Sometimes they would all rattle into one. My past. The Orton parts. I'd be sat at the Scarity Circus. Sat amongst a crowd of whispering figures. And then I'd be back at the factory. Dipping matches with Molly, but... She'd turn away and look back with a different face. Cloaked in white. Its mouth open, bearing sharp teeth. Mom knows it haunts me. She's had to wake me up from many a night terror. Then she comforts me in her arms and holds me tight. One night, I decided to go for a walk along the Thames. I was lost in my thoughts, and I lost hours. Mom found me sat on a bench looking out of Big Ben. She was very worried about me. There were bad people who come out at night. I hadn't forgotten. And yet, somehow, none of them seemed as scary in comparison to those whisper men. I've been hurt so much by bad people in my life. I've always survived. I was so strong and I pulled through. Pulled myself out of the darkness and became a new me. Then they came and made everything rupture again. Mum could see it as we met eyes in the evening light. I felt like I was back at point one. Any healing Mum had conducted was lost. All because of those whisper men. She held me close. Her hand ran through my dark hair. And I wept. I wept like I did our first night together. Wept like I was the 18 year old she brought in for the cold. I felt like I was reset. All that process disappeared. And all there was was her. Mavastra. 
I could always rely on her. Strax sat in the carriage nearby. Vastra brought me back and sat me inside. Mom asked Strax to take us home and she held me all the way back. Despite our many differences, I could always rely on her warmth when it had been raining. I could forget everything when she held me. Nothing else mattered. We arrived back on Paternoster Row as the sun rose. The dim blue sky began to light areas previously hidden in shadow. Strax opened the carriage door and led us to the front of the house <laughs> and announced us. Despite the fact that there was nobody home to receive us, <laughs> Mom took me upstairs and changed me out of my damp clothes. We went to bed. I think I passed out. When I woke, it was the middle of the day and Mom was still sat with me. The old event had taken its toll on her too. And she didn't want to leave me. Strax cared in his own way. He made us late breakfast with a nice hot tea. There were many times to come when we would all have weak moments. But we were there for one another. That's what makes us special. So, we got back to work. The Paternoster gang, stronger than ever before. <laughs> <laughs>